this part of the Tamil song called Ararai Kodi sounds like it has a scientific meaning and hidden message. Has composer Rahman turned physics into philosophy? That's what we'll see in this episode. Welcome to the Suez Sans channel. I'm Sukrish. Listen to this part of the song. Literally, it means without you all, I don't exist here. Said by a star to his fans. This song is a celebration of the bond between stars and their fans. But it's deeper than just polite gratitude from the stars. Stars genuinely understand that without community, genius cannot survive. Imagine a math genius born in a time before money existed, where they operate by exchanging things. You give me leather, I give you bones. Our genius invents currency by scribbling numbers on tokens, but his people see this as a scam. Worthless tokens for our leather? And they drive him out. For ideas to have impact, we need community trust and understanding. Now let's look at a positive example. Even if we are not musicians, we recognize a film composer's greatness. That's because we understand the intention behind music. For example, the dum, the dum means suspense and means sadness, you know. These meanings evolved over time as a community, just like how words form in languages. A composer's power depends on the community who understands what the music is saying. So yes, ideas need community. Creativity needs community. That's the philosophy of the song. Now let's listen to what comes immediately after this line. That sounds very much like the harmonic series in acoustics, the branch of physics that deals with sound. Let's listen again in the ending of the song. Since this sound effect appears repeatedly in the song, it tells me that it's a central theme, a main idea in the song. These curvy lines represent the frequency of vibrations. Whatever is the first frequency, if the following frequencies are multiples of the first one, like two times, three times, four times, five times, and so on, then that set is a harmonic series. For example, if the first one is 100 hertz frequency, then the rest would be 200, 300, 400, and so on. And that sounds like this. Instead, if this is the first frequency, then the harmonic series would sound like this. And if this is the first frequency, Notice that the overall tune is the same no matter which frequency you start with. The sue or core beauty of this song is that the harmonic series carries the community message of the song. Now, as usual, some viewers may ask, what if A.R. Rahman just put that sound spontaneously for fun and not as a planned symbolism? There are too many coincidences, so I do think there's a lot of symbolism here. But let's assume he did it just for fun. The harmonic series still resembles the message of the song, and it's beautiful. Let's see how. When a violinist bows across the string and asks you to hum what you hear, we would hum, uh, 
and we might assume that the violin string vibrates only at a particular frequency like 440 hertz in this case and that it reaches our ear as the pitch. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What if I tell you that inside this single violin note, there are these other pitches being produced at the same time, like What? We don't hear all that, you might say. If you haven't heard of this concept before, then this is one of the most mind-boggling concepts in music. I can show you with software that these other pitches are indeed being produced. That's a violinist playing that note. Look at all the peaks. Horizontally, it tells us what frequencies they are in hertz. Vertically, it tells us the amplitude in decibels. That's how loud it feels. You heard not only the 440 hertz, which is the main or fundamental frequency which you hummed, but also these other peaks. Let's isolate and hear them one by one. This is artificially isolating the frequency with software. You can't do this on a real instrument. Notice that the other peaks are multiples of the first peak. So the entire harmonic series of frequencies was generated by that single violin note. In nearly every natural instrument like the piano or flute or violin, if you play any note, that one note will bring the entire harmonic series along with it. Look here. And here. These instruments don't produce a pure single frequency. It always comes along as a whole set. But then why do we hear only the main note? Why don't we hear the entire set? Actually, we do hear all of them, but not as individual pitches. In fact, if I isolate and show you only the fundamental main pitch, you may not be able to recognize what instrument it is. It's hard to say until I remove the filter and release and let you hear everything. Now we can say it's a piano. Look at this example. And when I remove the filter, now we can hear it as a guitar. So it's the entire community of frequencies that give the main note its recognition. So that's just like the community which gives an artist their recognition. What a beautiful parallel. So we hear those peaks summed up together, just not individually. Think of it like color. If our brain saw light as individual wavelengths, crossing the road would be deadly. For example, like Mm, 750 nanometers. I'm guessing that could be a bus. Wham! You're already dead. Thankfully, we see the blue sky, the red bus, the gray road, and we can instantly decide to avoid crossing. Same with sound. We don't hear the individual frequencies like a math problem and calculate what instrument could it be? But instantly we hear it as timber. That's a violin. That's a guitar. That quality of sound which lets you recognize what instrument it is, is known as the timber or timbre, however you want to pronounce it. Maybe it's a good thing that our brains evolved for seeing color and hearing timber. Otherwise, the world would be like a dangerous matrix of numbers. The entire harmonic series appears along with the fundamental frequency and creates the timber. That's what lets us recognize what instrument it is. 
the fundamental frequency can literally say to the rest of the frequencies this isn't just physics it's the story of every voice that wants to be heard in my case i'm not just the music decoder i also compose make art and even turn into other people but just like the fundamental needs its harmonics i need you to explore my work beyond decoding like this video <laughs>